Need someone to give you a tour of the back end of your Kajabi site so you know where the heck everything is? This is like the realtor giving you a house tour, except the house is Kajabi. Hello, lovely to meet you. My name is Orid from Esatino Media, where we help you create profitable content. And that includes knowing how to navigate your Kajabi site so you can sell more of your products and your courses. So I'll be your Kajabi realtor for today's video. And what I'm gonna do in this video is show you a back end walkthrough of your dashboard and I'll explain what each of these things mean as well. All right, so I'm in the back end of our Kajabi site here. I've logged in, so make sure you're logged in as well and you can kind of follow along with me. We're gonna go through what each of these things mean. So let's first start with the get started here. So you might be seeing a percentage and if at any point you want to know how to increase the percentage to make sure that your store is your Kajabi site is fully set up, you just need to click on get started and it will take you through what you need to do. As you can see here, creating a product, packaging the product. It's pretty cool because they have helpful resources and videos that you could watch at any point. So I'm going to close out of this and right here, your website is probably i would say where you're going to spend most of your time when it comes to setting up and designing your website your landing pages when you've first signed up for your account then you'll probably see this theme right here which is the default theme so you'll see this showing up here but i have a custom theme uploaded which is why it's showing something different right here so if you scroll down a little bit if you don't like this default theme then you can always browse through your themes right here you can upload a theme if someone's giving you like a zip folder of that and this is where you'd come to to customize the the look the colors the feel of the site by clicking on customize here if you're customizing specific pages this isn't where you would customize those pages you'd actually customize them directly within the pages area here so let's click on that and you can see here it's loading up all of the default system pages that comes along with your kajabi site so that includes your login for example your home page blog post all of these types of things which you can then come in here you see i'm hovering over it you can come in here and click on this to customize any one of them. Now, because this is more of a walkthrough video, I'm not gonna dive into a lot of detail on how to do things. I'm just kind of giving you a tour of where everything is. If you wanted to create a page that is different from these default system pages here, you would come into where it says landing page. This is where you click to create a new landing page and you could customize it and create it, make it your own. So your website area has those default pages the landing page has you know any of your custom landing pages that you want to create and pipelines are something different as well so a pipeline is basically a funnel so if you're familiar with the term funnel it consists of a landing page a checkout page to one of your products and then it can also include an email sequence that's triggered. So there's many different types of pipelines or funnels that you can create. And they actually have, you see here, if I'm clicking on new pipeline, you'll see they have packaged funnels or pipelines ready to go for you. So if you're doing a product launch, if you're doing a webinar, you can come in here and click on any one of them, see what that funnel looks like. So you see here, you'll have a registration, confirmation, you'll have four emails, you'll have the event. This is basically the entire sequence that it's going to create for you. So it'll give you templates for all of these things the emails and the pages and then you can go ahead and customize them which is pretty cool so you can see here as well i want to point out when i clicked on pipelines it goes into the marketing area so this is where you would customize your pipelines along with other automations but let's just go back in here we'll get there in a second so i want to make sure i've addressed all of these things here this is right your website so your pages are under there navigation is where you would customize your menus so the navigation at the top of your site you can create a main menu here and add either custom links or choose a specific landing page as a link you can create a separate navigation menu for your footer you can create a menu for only what members see so once they're logged in their navigation menu might be different 
So this is where you would do that right in here. And if you want to create an entirely different menu, not main footer or anything like that, you go into custom menus and create a brand new custom menu. And your blog, self-explanatory, that's where your blog or your articles live. You can start that right here. So website, everything basically to do with the pages and the infrastructure of your website and the customization around your website lives right in the section. So let's take a look at what products is. So your products is where you're gonna be creating anything that you'll be selling directly from your Kajabi site. So this includes a course, it could include a service, it could include a coaching product. Right here is where you do that. You just select new product. And for each of these things, it has a different format for what the back end looks like. If someone is getting a mini course or an online course, for example, or a membership, what they see once they've purchased your product will look different on the back end. So these are kind of packaged products ready to go. But if you wanted to create something from scratch, you could do that as well right here. There's also an area for podcasts. So I haven't fiddled around very much with this myself, but it's pretty cool that you could publish your, create and publish your episodes for your podcast right from in here and basically integrate it with your entire Kajabi site. So that's pretty cool. And then coaching as well is another type of product. When someone purchases a coaching session, you could see here we've already created a bunch of different coaching sessions. What they'll see on the back end is to book into your calendar and there's an area for your agenda, for what's gonna happen in that session or your notes. So what I encourage you to do is you don't have to fiddle around with what everything looks like, just create the product for whatever it is that you're selling, whether that's an, a coaching or online course, and then you can preview what that product looks like once you've created it. If you don't like the way that template looks that it's already that Kajabi gives you then you can always go back and just create a blank product and start from scratch all right let's take a look at sales so one of the questions that we get a lot is what's the difference between a product and an offer so an offer is basically a packaged format for your product you can bundle multiple products within a specific offer for example i have a youtube course an online youtube course called the profitable channel and i also have a product as you saw there uh, with a bunch of different types of youtube coaching sessions so what i can do is i can come in here create an offer that bundles some of those coaching sessions along with the course and create an entirely new offer with a different price point. If you are only selling the product by itself, so just the online course, I will say, and this is where it's a little bit tricky, um, this is one thing that I, I, I think is kind of co confusing when it comes to creating this, is you will still need to create an offer that just includes that one product. So whether you're including one product in the offer or multiple products in the offer, to sell that on your Kajabi site, you will still need to create a offer for every single product that you sell. And I think they separate it in this way because your products is where you actually customize what that deliverable looks like in the back end and the curriculum and everything. Whereas in the sales section here in your offers, this is where you're setting price points, you're setting you know, what happens when they actually purchase that product. And by the way, guys, if you want me to include more specific tutorials on any one of these features, I'd be happy to take your suggestions into account so you can feel free to leave those in the comments below this video. Coupons, pretty self-explanatory. This is, you know, where if you're giving away free coupons or a discount, you can modify the type of discount they get, whether it's amount of dollars off or a percentage off, this is where you'd create that. Payments is where all of your transactions happens here, so you can export it and easily take a look at all of that data here. There's another place as well to see all of these transactions and data, uh, but this is just where all every single payment that's come through your Kajabi site is sitting in here and affiliates as well. So if you have other people promoting your courses for you, this is where you can actually add your affiliates as users at the top here. There's all of these different settings that you can include and you can provide them with an affiliate sign up link and see all of that data here right from your dashboard, which is pretty cool. 
Okay, let's go into marketing. So marketing includes the pipelines that we previous, previously talked about, the email campaigns, automations, all this stuff here. That's one of the reasons why we switched over to Kajabi from Teachable is because it's an all-in-one. So it includes, you can do all of your email marketing from here, which is really great. It's pretty easy to set up an email campaign. Again, they have templates if you want to use their templates or just make it super simple. You can see all of the data here with each single email campaign. Pipelines is where you customize that part. You could see all of the funnels that you've created and dive deeper into it to customize it. Automations is basically a summary of any automations that you have built into your Kajabi site. So there's certain places within the site where you can set automations. For example, when I've created an offer and I've set a price to it, there's an area where you can select, okay, what do you want to happen after this person purchases the product or the offer rather? So you can actually set automations within there that says, once they purchase, send out this email sequence, this email campaign. So you need to create the pieces first and then you can set up the automations. So meaning you need to come in here, create the email campaign, create the product, and then you can either set up the automation within here, or like I said, in certain places within the customization of Kajabi, it'll show that automation option for you if you want to do something like that. And there's a lot of cool automations that you can build into your Kajabi site and your whole workflow. Events, I haven't used this much myself, but if you are hosting an event of some sort, I imagine you can create that, put it into a calendar, and also use something like a countdown on your landing page. So, and it keeps track of registrations and everything. So you could build all of that within here. And any sort of forms that you have on the site, whether that's a contact form, an opt-in form, this is where you would create the forms right within here. And then you'll notice how all these pieces come together once you're starting to build out your site you'll be able to choose or select the form. Uh, like if you're building your contact page, for example, you would then select, oh, I want the contact form to be put right in here and it'll embed it there for you. I think it helps to think of this, of building your Kajabi site in these terms where you first build out the pieces, whatever it is that you need, your emails, your forms, your pages, your products, and then you can go back and connect everything together. People, this right here, the section where it says people is basically all of your members, your students, your buyers, anybody who's purchased from you, you'll have a whole roster of people right here and you can go right into any of these member profiles and see their activity you know did they when did they purchase that product did they open that email that was sent out to them did they click on the link so you can really get granular with this kind of information assessments i haven't really used this much myself and i don't know too much about it to be honest but you can see here it says it helps you collect data from people visiting your site or your members so i imagine it's a way to create like a multiple choice or a quick little quiz or just asking for feedback and you can integrate that into different areas of the site. And finally, analytics right here, probably where you would enjoy spending more of your time of once your site is actually launched, you can see all of this different types of data here. So your opt-ins, your revenue, offers sold, affiliates, and you can go and dive deep into these analytics. Now, what are these areas right here really quickly? So Kajabi Partners is your dashboard, your affiliate dashboard, not for the products that you sell on your website, but for Kajabi. So if for any reason you let's say you have an audience a tribe you want to share the kajabi platform with them then this is your affiliate dashboard where you can take your affiliate link and allow other people to sign up and you earn a commission on any person that signs up for kajabi through you the link that's in the description below if you're signing up for the 14 day free trial that is our affiliate link. So if you do choose to use that, we get a small commission from that. 
And of course, we recommend Kajabi. I wouldn't be creating these videos if I didn't recommend Kajabi. We've um, been using it for a while now and really enjoy the platform, the all-in-oneness, the options that it gives you. So of course, if you're recommending it to your audience, make sure you stand by the product itself. All right, I'm gonna go back here to where it says return to main and show you these settings area right here. So settings is probably one of the first areas that you want to go into once you've first created your Kajabi account, because there are a few things you want to customize. So your site details, um, your marketing settings, your domain, like if you have a custom domain and you want to connect it to your Kajabi site, then this is where you would do that right here. Your payment integration, so you would, from within here, integrate your Stripe and or your PayPal account to receive those payments. So I would recommend coming in here and just clicking into each one of these. Some of them might not be applicable to you, like drip settings, for example. Drip is basically a way to deliver a, for example, a course to someone, so it will only release certain lectures at a certain time, so it drips that course content. So if you're not doing anything like that, you don't need to come in here and customize it. What I would say is come in here, customize your site details, marketing settings, because this includes your branding and uploading your logo and that sort of thing. Checkout settings, so come in here and do that. Payment integrations, very important if you want to get paid. And a domain as well, if you have a custom domain. Everything else, you can probably come in here and do it later, but those are the main things you want to do first right off the bat. And if I'm scrolling down here, this is all of your account information for how you set up your Kajabi account. So this is where you would find your notifications, making that different, your account details, your billing, what type of subscription you have. So that is a walkthrough of your Kajabi dashboard. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And if you need help setting up your Kajabi site, I'm happy to help. You can shoot me an email. I'll put that in the description below. As I've set up many different course websites for coaches and entrepreneurs, and I can help you do the same. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.